Hey guys, it's Joseph here with another video. I want to take you guys behind the scenes to an editorial shoot that I did a few days ago, but using Constant Light. If you saw my previous video, you'd see that I unboxed an Aperture 300 D Mark II. And that is like a very powerful light that is mostly used by videographers and filmmakers to create cinematic videos. But because I'm a photographer first, I wanted to see if I can use this light to do a photo shoot instead. And I did an editorial shoot with it. Makeup and styling is being done by the therapist. Please keep on watching and subscribe if you haven't. Yeah, so let's get started. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm in the studio with... Black Diamond. GH Black Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first things first. I'm gonna be shooting here on a plain white backdrop, but I'm also gonna put my canvas backdrop on the bottom just to break that even tone of whiteness throughout. But I want to keep it simple, and that is why I'm using the white backdrop. All right, so when I turned on this light, it was at 100%. And the first thing I noticed is that it's like extremely bright and even gets a lot brighter when you add that reflector dish that comes with it because it focuses the light and makes it a lot more punchy and she really couldn't handle it. She was squinting throughout. So I ended up shooting at how far throughout the entire shoot since that is what she was able to handle. But even at that half power setting, if I tell you the truth, it gave me exactly what I was looking for. It was contrasty and harsh enough just as I wanted it to be because I wanted to recreate the harsh light. Now, based on these light settings, I decided to shoot at 1 over 125 on my shutter speed, ISO 200 and f2.8 on the aperture. These settings coupled with my power setting gave me the exposure that I needed. If I was using a studio strobe, I would have had to go to about 1 over 180. That is if I didn't want to exceed the, the camera sync speed or even do high speed sync and still be able to capture these images without a lot of motion blur. But unfortunately, because I was using the Aperture 300D Mark II and because it was at half power, I had to reduce my shutter speed to 1 over 125. And that meant that I had to be a little bit careful or extra careful just so I don't capture any motion in the images. We we're trying to mimic sunlight. It's currently around 45 degrees straight to our subject. And we have a little cast of shadow on the backdrop. So I'm gonna start with full body shots and I'm using my 24 to 70 so that I can zoom in or zoom out without having to go close or further away from my subject. So, all right, are you ready? Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Coming close. Yeah, this time. Yep. All right. One more. If you're new here and you're enjoying this content as well, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. I post every single week. And lastly, I have a digital store linked down below. I have some free skin tone LUTs and my favorite melanin skin tone LUTs made up of about six different LUTs for coloring dark skin tones. So if you want to color grade faster, check out my digital store and cup something to support me, support the channel, and uh, download any of the free items as well to help you work a little bit faster. You can also become a patron actually if you want to get access to my raw files. And since I post every single week, there's always something new on there for you guys to practice with. So Apple just says that this light has impeccable color fidelity with a CRI and TLCI rating of 96, offering natural pristine color for broadcast video, photography, television production, and studio filmmaking. But also the 5500 color temperature matches the sun and blends seamlessly as white light for a natural look. 
And well, even though that's what's written on paper or in theory, when I was using this light, to be honest, I liked the color temperature of this light and how it worked well with my camera in capturing her dark skin tone. So, where's the light? <laughs> Alright, also from the distance that I was shooting, this light was able to light her from head to toe and I, all I had to do now was to walk close to her for close-ups or just take a few steps back to get some full body shots without moving the light around. But for the close-up shots and because the therapist was available at that time, I made him hold a reflector just below to bounce some of that harsh light back onto our subject and reduce the intensity of the shadows. You can lift your chin up a little more, yeah. Okay, you can drop the hands now. Let's just do the jacket and the jewelry. Just this enough. Yeah. But so, some small shoulder tilts and yeah. Yeah, that's nice. You can also turn your face a little bit more this way. Yeah, and your eyes back into the camera, yeah. Maybe you look a little bit off. By your eyes, look at my hand, look at my hand. Bring it down, yeah, right there, keep it there. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right, so. Yep. I'm coming close to you so we can get like tighter shots. Yeah. Thanks. Also, sometimes I'm just gonna go a little lower to get there. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, I like that. So just bring the hand down a little bit. Bring down. Yeah, somewhere there. Okay. Alright, so that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to join our growing family. I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, don't ever give up.